good afternoon. It is actually almost nighttime, so it's 5.30 p.m. and I'm actually gonna head to the grocery store. We're gonna go to Whole Foods and do some grocery shopping. I don't have any food really in my house except like hummus and like ice and like that's it. So um, I need to get water too. So we are gonna go grocery shopping and I thought why not do another meal prep video and it has been i don't even know years i feel like since i did it last and i was meal prepping then i kind of stopped and then um i was kind of like eating whatever and lately i feel like not like i'm not healthy i still feel like i'm always gonna be on a health kick and a healthy diet type of person but um yeah lately i've just been kind of eating poorly and i need to get back into me when i feel good and i work out every day like and i just feel like you know what i need to start meal prepping again my celine bag is just like all up in the kitchen um <laughs> right there but um anyways yeah we're gonna go to the grocery store and get some food and prepare it maybe i'll cook it tonight i don't know because i don't want the video to look so dark at night but i do have lights maybe we'll film it tonight we'll see how it goes but we're gonna go to the grocery store right now all right guys Let's check out what I got today. These are just bars that I got for like snacking and stuff like that like during the day. I got fresh wild caught king salmon filet from Whole Foods. It was $26.18. It was a little bit more expensive than the farm um, raised salmon um, that some of you guys were saying that I shouldn't get. So I decided to get the wild. Um, it was a little bit more expensive. It was like double. And then I also got halibut, um, which I didn't get a full pound because I'm gonna mix the two and have like different ones. And then carrots I got, I got broccoli, and then I got some brown rice I'm gonna mix with the quinoa that I already have at home. Some almond milk, this is not for the meal prep, but this is just for me to have in the morning. And um, Brussels sprouts and then pineapples are my dessert that I'm gonna have um, maybe tonight. But I actually kept it pretty simple. Not gonna do too crazy of a meal prep, but these are the ingredients. This is my second one that I'm actually gonna cook through and do it with you guys. So um, I hope you guys do this at home with me. I really haven't been meal prepping. So I was like really into it. Like a year ago, I was really into it. And when I filmed the video, uh, my first meal prep video, I was meal prepping every single week for months and I kind of stopped doing it. And now I really miss it. I get really hungry and I do a lot of shakes and stuff like that. But it is always nice to have prepared meals, especially if you have a really busy schedule. If you work a lot, if you're in school, if you have um, a crazy working schedule, or if you have a husband or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and you wanna cook them meals and have them ready for them to take it to work or to school or something like that, or a child, I think it's just best to have meals ready so we're gonna do another meal prep video i try to make it a little bit different but i'm such a routine person so a lot of the stuff i got is similar to the previous meal prep video but i'm going to show you guys what i got and let's get started so first let's do the fish all right i'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 it's always set like that and i'm gonna press start gonna cut the fish and then I will be right back. Um, I'm gonna use mostly paprika, which is what I flavor a lot of my food with because it is fat free. <laughs> and um, I use a little bit of the lemon and the peppers. I season it straight on this like pan. I'm not trying to like make it look so beautiful or anything like that. I just do it like that because it's just for me and it's not like it's for anyone. Um, some people season it like in like its own like bowl or own container, but I just like to do this just cause it's like easy and you know, again, I don't need to make it like beautiful or like super neat. So this is no sodium at all. All I use is this paprika, this lemon thing, true lemon, 100% natural ingredients and Trader Joe's uh, peppercorn pepper. So that's my fish. Look at that, they're so cute. All right, so that is my fish and I'm not gonna put it in the oven yet. So let's just put it aside for a little bit and let's do the vegetables. I also need to do the rice and stuff too, but let's work on the vegetables. I'm gonna do the carrots, the Brussels sprouts. I'm in the middle of peeling the carrots, but the oven is preheated, so let's go put the fish in. So we're only gonna put those in for like literally like 10, 12 minutes, just because the fish is like not that thick and not that big. 
and it'll be ready. Mm, I just love carrots, they're so good. So I peeled all these carrots, I'm gonna cut them into tiny little pieces. We're just gonna cook it a little bit in a frying pan. I don't wanna steam them because I feel like the carrots get too soft when I reheat them. I'm gonna cook the Brussels sprouts and carrots together. All right, that's a lot of carrots. Look at the carrots, they look so pretty. There's so much of them. Look how cute this bowl is. All right, so let's cut up these Brussels sprouts. They look so cute. I don't know why, I think food looks cute. I'm weird. I'm gonna take a look into the fish. Looks like they're almost ready to put in for like a little bit more. I always just like look and see, or like I put my fork in it or something. And if it's cooked all the way, then it should be good. The last thing you wanna do is overcook it though. Not good. I used to measure the temperature of all the fish all the time. When it comes to cooking and stuff, it's just best to like know that it's fully cooked and stuff, you know? You don't wanna do like anything raw if it's not sushi grade or anything like that. No wonder I haven't meal prepped for a long time, but you know what, don't get lazy because this is the healthy way to go and the healthy way to live and have like the most efficient like timing and stuff like that. I feel like every time I'm like hungry, I can't focus and I'm looking for food and stuff like that. And this meal prepping thing, it's like you can live your life like peacefully and amazing. Oh, it's good. It's good. The fish is good. It is cooked. Take out the fish. Not cute. The Brussels sprouts, like little brown dots. Don't want that in my meal preps. Okay, I'm going to put that. This is what my Brussels sprouts and carrots look like. All right guys, so we are gonna use this coconut oil in here to cook everything. So let me just first turn on the thing. I'm just gonna like take the whole container. I'm just <laughs> not that domestic and coordinated, but this coconut oil is gonna taste really good with the vegetables. So we're gonna cook this for a little bit. Good, it's starting to look. Almost done with the veggies. All right, so now I'm actually gonna do the carbs um, and the protein still, because I am gonna do quinoa. I actually ate a lot of it <laughs> recently, so I do have some left, and then I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the brown rice that I got today, and that's gonna be like my carbs, um, and then Quinoa, I love the taste of quinoa by itself. I feel like some some people say it's kind of like grainy, like bird seeds, um, but I like it, but I do like to mix it with rice to like complete my meal or like feel like I kind of have food, <laughs> if you know what I mean? Cause like all protein I feel like kind of makes you feel, I don't know, I just feel like you feel more satisfied with some carbs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna mix the brown rice and the quinoa and put it in my rice cooker. That's how I make it and it's just easier to do for me um, instead of like boiling it and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I put this much rice in here. It's not even like a full cup, kind of like maybe like three quarters of a cup. And then I put the quinoa in here. I'm gonna, wash, I'm gonna wash the rice first and then mix that in. Brown rice is like not as powdery as white rice. I just rinsed it really quick. Then I'm gonna add the quinoa in. How I measure the water in this like bowl is I literally take my fingertip like right here. Um, I line my finger at the top of where the rice ends and then the water should just end like that. That's how I measure it. I learned it in college from somebody. I don't even remember who I learned it from, but I learned it from somebody. It wasn't my mom, cause my mom does like measurements I think with her the actual cups. Here you go. Boom. So that'll be done in a little bit. We can put them in the cute little containers. Let's wait for that to be done and our meal prep is done. The thing about cooking is that it kind of does create a little bit of a mess, but it's much healthier to cook at home than to eat out. Oh my gosh, okay, before it fogs up, look how good this quinoa rice Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's fucking. 
Look how good this quinoa rice looks. Oh my gosh, so amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in my little meal prep containers. I have a bunch of them, you guys have seen them in my first video. They're super cute with a lid like this. I'm gonna put it in. Meal number one, meal number two, meal number three, meal number four, meal number five, meal number six, meal number seven. So here are the meals. Look at that, we are all done. So there are seven meals. Some of them have halibut, some of them have salmon. They all have Brussels sprouts, carrots, quinoa, and brown rice. And this one is like a one and a half, like a huge one. But these are all my meals, we are all done. What I do with these is I close them and I store them in the fridge and I eat them whenever I feel hungry. I don't know if you guys can see it in the frame because I feel like I don't even know how I framed it right. Um, I haven't done a meal prep video for such a long time. So whatever I learn about food and stuff like that and healthy things and what I eat and what makes me feel better, I'll teach you guys as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this meal prep video. I feel like, yes, I needed to do this for such a long time. I'm so glad I did it because I want to be back on this health kick and this fitness journey. I have been loving my body, then I like sometimes hate it and I just go back and forth with it. So I need to be consistent with my food and exercising and everything. I do always stay consistent in terms of working out. I always, always, always work out, never miss the gym. And I am always doing some kind of exercise for myself, whether it's yoga or cycling or just going to the gym or hiking. I have always, always, always been a part of that fitness um, thing, but meal prep, I go in and out of doing. and. And I know you guys loved my first meal prep video, so this is my second one. I promise I will do lots more. I am learning how to do it. If you guys wanna see a vegan one, I feel like that would be like my next challenge. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, if I know you guys are liking these type of videos, I will do more. And also let me know in the comments below. So make sure to thumbs up the video, let me know in the comments below what you guys suggest and what you guys wanna see in terms of meal prepping and exercising and healthy stuff, you know, because we all want to have a healthy lifestyle and a happy lifestyle. So let me know what you guys like and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Mwah. Oh my gosh, guys. I have not vlogged from the gym for like ever. I'm back to vlogging. I 